So when we last saw Yu-Gi-Oh! and Kirito had finally decided to leave the village and go in pursuit of the main castle. So I'm guessing we're just going to get them on their journey along the way. Probably a couple of filler episodes showing us, hey, we're going to have, you know, like, oh, they're going to stumble here, stumble there. Maybe some time will pass. I don't know. It seems like it's going to take them at least, a, uh, what, could be weeks, could be months. I don't know. I, I'm just wondering, what, when are we actually going to get to know what happened in the real world? You know, what actually happened to Kirito's body? Is he even, like, is he, like, on the brink of death? Is he alive? Or they've kidnapped him? Is the government using him for some kind of experiment? I don't know. I don't, don't trust the feds. Everybody knows this. All right? So, <laughs> hopefully that's, uh, that's, oh, hopefully he's okay. All right? But I have my doubts. In the meantime, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe, click the notification bell, and let's get started right away. Okay, what's going on here? Wait, it's back to the fight with uh, with Laughing Coffin. Or is it? Oh, the oh shit! Here we go. What? We finally, get get some answers. So what happened? Operation in progress, June 28th, 2026. Said a guy at General Hospital. I did not think we were going to get to see this right now. I thought we were going to have to wait till the end of the season, but okay. Okay. Or at least the end of the arc. <laughs> she can monitor his heart rate. I can't imagine that. I can't imagine having like that information on my phone about the person I love most. Unless the person I love most is watching this. Oh, he's breathing. Or at least he's getting some assistance. Alright, well that's good to know. What? Oh, he's getting some assistance. Alright, well that's good to know. So he's in a permanent coma. He can really use Kikuoka. So he is the one who got him. Okay, I was not expecting this. I thought we were going to have to wait until the end of the arc or the end of the season, but no. Apparently not. We're going to get... We're going to get the answers now. What happened to him? Where is he? Or at least this part. Maybe it's just like... It could just be the first couple of minutes. I don't know. His heart stopped for five minutes. That's insane. He was legally dead for five minutes. Maybe not brain dead. I, I don't know. If he never regains consciousness, he'll have to live in the Medicuboid. Something like that. Or I guess... I guess, you know, what he's using now is very similar to the Medicuboid. I forget what it's called, but... I don't know. Ocean Turtle. All right, so it's the same day. Just that morning. Okay, so what Kikuo could tell him? I said it before, it's a good thing he has Kikuo, you know, to back him up, but... Question is, does Kikuoka have his own motives here? What's he doing with him? Okay, is he locked down? Is he promote, promote, pronounced dead? Alright, it's the next day. Sylvain. That's bullshit. They, they took him. The feds took him. Look, Kikuoka's been an asset so far, but... He could easily have his own motives here. I'm guessing Yui can get you into the system and find something, but... I don't know. Wait, he can't be out of range unless... He would have had to leave the country for that. And even then, long distance calling. Yeah, he's been helpful from the beginning, though. He's the one who reunited Kirito and Asuna. He also helped with taking down... Uh, 
they, uh, taking down AG and the professor. I their names. Right, the soul translator. That's supposed to be where they have him. I mean, obviously, it's where they have him, but. Where is that exactly? She's got access to the heart rate monitor. It's been out of range. Wait, isn't that you? Doesn't that work with like GPS? Okay, Yui, she could find out, but as long as you have access to Wi Fi, it should work. Or at least like some cell towers. Yeah, they took him, but what are they doing? Hold on, on the coast? Right there is the open water. Either they can. I don't know. You can hear the song in the background. Yuna. Yeah, they're playing Yuna's music. I guess she's still around. For the record, I've been listening to Yuna's music non-stop, so... Like I said, yeah, I mean, this is obviously after Ordinal Scale, so Kikuoka was helpful in taking down Shigemura and Eiji, as well as helping out with Kirito finding Asuna, everything. I don't know. Keep in mind that Yui is, what, five years old at this point? No, no, no. Four, around four or five years old when you when you count for when she was made. 20, 20, four years old. Okay, she's at least four years old. She's outdated. All right. Ogma. All right, yeah, so definitely Ordinal Scale is canon to this, obviously. It's been mentioned multiple times, and now we're seeing them use the Agma. I guess it's how they communicate with Yui here. Never trust the feds. Yes, I am a federal employee. Anyway. Might have him somewhere across the country or an island. If he go into the open water, he could be anywhere in the world by now. Especially if it's the Japanese government that did it. That's a little out of reach even for Yui. She still has the ring. Oh, I know if I was in this position, I would have been freaking out. You know, her position. He went through hell to find you, Asuna. You two have been partners for a long time. He did kill him. No, that was Johnny Black. Why is this keeps happening to him? Every fucking time he gets some semblance of peace, things go horribly wrong. As we know, Kaiba made the Medicu Boyd. Question is, what was his actual plan? We never did find out, but it's possible that what he was doing with Medicu Boyd might have something to do with his, er, his actual plans for the whole SAO disaster. Right, this is what we got at the end of last season. I think someone commented telling me what this was about, but I refused to read it because it sounded like a spoiler. In California? That's not far from me, actually. She was in that class with Shigemura. We need to track down all those students of his. They're always up to no good. So she was the one nursing him to health. She was keeping Kayaba, like, keeping, keeping him safe while he was in there. How is she not in prison for that? Aiding and abetting in the murder of 4,000 people. 
I mean, I don't know how it works, so. Oh, so they were intimate. I feel like I should have known that, but... No. Why did you do it, Kayaba? Why did you trap everybody in SAO? What was your plan? So clearly it still haunts her, but... Again, how did she get away with it? Liar. I don't know how the fuck she got away with it. Is it the helicopter? Oh, shit. Ocean Turtle. What the f So it's like, it's like, it's a rig. In the middle of the ocean. Alice in Wonderland. It seems like everything in this season has something to do with Alice in Wonderland. I don't know. I mean... We've all seen the Disney movie. I even saw like the live action uh, movie with Johnny Depp, but I didn't see the original. I know very little about Alice in Wonderland. As we know, Disney really waters shit down. Nice to meet you. It's always weird hearing this guy speak English. I wonder how it sounds when we speak Japanese. I've been told I have a decent Japanese accent. I'm, I'm not gonna like comment on that or say anything in Japanese. Wait, they didn't show us her face. Why? I wonder. This must be a beyond top secret. I, what is the Japanese government doing here? Lieutenant Colonel Kikuoka. So he is military. I'm guessing three of Shigemura students. Yep, he's a Shigemura student. It's Kazuto, isn't it? Oh, I just, I, I had a feeling. I had a feeling. When they didn't show her face, I was like, hold on. Who is that? All right, so she's spoken to him before. We know that. So he met with her in Japan. So it's not like she fled the country. She was actually in Japan. She didn't know about the world scene, did she? How in the fuck did she get away with this? Kayaba stole two years of their lives. He killed 4,000 of them. なぜ私があなたの翔平に応じる気になったか分かってもらえたかしら。聞こうかさ。ただ学籍データ。That She's able to hack into the government systems like that. Okay, so that's how the episode ends. We don't actually get our full answers, but we at least know he's still alive. He's absolutely still alive, and he's out there, and I don't know what to expect. I really don't know what to expect, because they said he, his heart gave out for five seconds. It has lasting permanent damage, but... Kikwoka has access to machinery that might be able to hold to, to help him? Or was that just a ruse so we could use him? 
I don't know. From what you saw before, here's here's two scenarios I can think of right now. One, he sent him in there and it's just allowing him to live his life through there so he has the idea of a full life because he'll never get it? I don't think so. Two, he forgot to erase his memory because he's just incompetent. I mean, think about it. He usually sends him in there with his memory erased. He was in there for three days before. But this time, he went in with his memories intact. I mean, I don't know how long Kirito can be there. Considering how many years passed in the single, what, day or two that he was out of there. All right, now, now we know. It's a couple of days later. Right, I'm assuming they put him in there the day before. Okay, yesterday. It's June 30th now, or no, no, probably July 1st. And they probably put Kirito in there, I don't know, June 30th or 29th, something like that. So he's been in there for a couple of days. If we base everything we've seen so far in terms of how time works in there, he could have been in there for 10, 20 years already. I don't know. I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's not that bad. I'm hoping he's only spending weeks or months in there. Look, as much as he probably loves the virtual world, it's, he has a life outside of it now. Before, it was perfect for him. I mean, you could even see uh, SAO a bridge, where it's like, it's the perfect world for him because of how everything was. But now he has actual people he loves and needs to get back home to. Especially Asuna. You can see she's still wearing the ring. All right. Yeah. He proposed. It's a promise ring. I don't fucking care. I, I always say propose just because, yeah, they are going to get married one day. I guarantee. I see no chance of the relationship falling apart. Not after SAO 2 and not after Ordinal Scale. To me, the relationship is as strong as ever. But I'm still just wondering what exactly happened to him. Now, I shouldn't, but I'm going to watch the next episode right now. Okay? So please be sure to leave a like and subscribe, click the notification bell, and I'm going to jump to the next episode as quick as I can.